Well, US-wide snow cover is at an all-time low. You may have missed hands-free texting you'd never have imagined, the exosuits for hard-working men and women, and guys, we got some spectacles. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where getting your hands on the latest damn gadget means about a billion selfies and some behind the scenes footage of pretty much everywhere. Check out Engadget HQ on Snapchat for some meta videos. If the video glasses did not tip you off, the future is coming up cyborg and I for one want in. People with far more difficult jobs than I can help prevent injuries by wearing an exoskeleton suit made for manual labor. Suit X, a company straight out of Berkeley, just introduced the Max. There are three different options with it. One is worn to protect the back, the other the shoulders, and the third legs. So you can go ahead and skip leg day just as planned. SuitX is hoping people in construction, airports, assembly lines, and the like will find them useful as they're supposed to reduce muscle activity and therefore strain by about 60%. We do not yet know how much this thing will cost, though a similar suit by the company cost $40,000. Electrical signals are not the only way to transmit information these days. A team of researchers from Stanford University developed a system that uses chemicals rather than electrons to send text messages. The system injects squirts of acid and base solutions into a tube filled with a third neutral liquid. The acids and bases act as binary ones and zeros. They're picked up by a pH meter as they flow through the channel, which then converts the data into digital ones and zeros that, of course, a computer can understand. The team hopes this breakthrough will lead to better implantable systems that will be able to communicate without exposing the surrounding tissue to undue electromagnetic fields. They even think robots could use the same technology communicating through chemical tags rather than digital links. I see one flaw. How will they teach us Kung Fu? I know Kung Fu. And finally, can we call it yet? A mannequin challenge from Texas A&M's gymnastics team pretty much crushed all the competition. Except shaky arms, dude, but I couldn't hold that for one second, so just ignore me. That's amazing. Kudos, y'all. Spy you later.